Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's the day we're going to be hanging these gates in the eight inch entryway. Before you get too excited about the tools you're fixing to see, the gin pole and the gate jacks, two very, very handy tools. Worry no more, you can find your very own digital prints of the gin pole and the gate jacks on my website at arosswelding.com under the shop tab and then under digital prints. Also, stick around till the end of this video because I am sharing one of my most favorite pieces of advice of all time, in my opinion, right now in this season of my life. You won't wanna miss it. One last thing I wanna add in here, go check out my A. Ross Welding Shorts YouTube channel that we just started. You don't wanna miss that either. First thing I gotta do is hook up the gin pole to the old Dodge, unload the trailer. There's some cattle panels on the trailer and then load the gates on the trailer and then hook onto the trailer and then load the gate jacks and a couple other things I got on my list. Locked and loaded. Got my gate jacks, gates. Threw some fence clips on the truck. I think I got everything. I think I'm ready to go. Got to stop by the railroad yard and the Stillwater Steel. Got to swap an oxygen bottle at Stillwater Steel, and then pick up two more joints of two and three eighths and a piece of flat. What in the world? Look who showed up on the job. Would y'all look at that? That's daggum Karen. You have got to be kidding me. That cat. I cannot get away from her. What a nuisance. Of course she would show up after the entryway was set. You just show up for the fun stuff, not the hard work. What a turd. But on a serious note, how cool is this? Job site Karen. Now Karen can appear in all your videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh, have mercy. Have mercy. Wow. That is so cool. All right, so I think my plan is to back my trailer out here. Luckily, this road isn't very busy and there's enough room between the road and the entryway right here. I'm gonna park my trailer this way, kind of pull up right here, unhook, and then that way I can use my gen pole to, I'll back up to my trailer, just like I loaded the gates. Back up to them, pick them up, and then just drive through the entryway, set the gate, and then, uh, do the same thing with the other one.
Boar, boar, boar. Not too shabby. It's obviously going to be a little closer to the post here, but I got to weld some half by three flat onto these hinges first. Half by three flat. And I'm going to weld that to the post. So I'm going to do that real fast. And then hang this gate. I'm going to be doing the exact same thing that I did in another video. If you haven't seen it, I hung a double gate. I hang this first one and then I make the other one match. All right, so I got my tabs welded on. The next thing I'm gonna do is make sure this gate is centered within these two eight inch pieces here. And the way I'm gonna do that is I got a string line ran on this one side of our eight inch. I know this is eight and five eighths OD. So I'm gonna measure from my string over half of eight and five eighths, which is four and five sixteenths minus a quarter inch because of half of this. So come over a quarter inch. So essentially four inches and then put our hinge on this side and I'll take my four foot level, lay it up against there and make a straight line all the way up. theory you should be able to put your plates right up against here and it should be the gate should be level this way even if this post is leaning one way or another we just put a level on that so if the post is off a little bit it won't matter because our line is level with the world which with gates, well, that's what we want. I usually try to do this before I get the gate in the way. I was just really excited. So I got a little ahead of myself. All right, now we can tack her up our I am using 7018 on this gate and that is definitely what I recommend on any gate but especially a heavy gate like this and I am welding uphill with the 7018.
All right, I've got my flat hinge welded. Just one pass, I'll put a bigger one over it after I get both gates hung. But I got one good pass and I got tack and bottom, tack on top and bottom on the other side. Same with the bottom hinge. I got the gate riding high a little bit because these hinges had quite a bit of slop in them. So I'm expecting it to fall a little bit. And you can see here riding this line. So I'm gonna let this gate jack down right here. Go ahead and let this one down. It did not fall that much, which is okay. The reason that I only welded one side of this hinge is in case I needed to adjust the gate at all. Uh, it's a habit of mine whenever I'm hanging gates is just to put good tacks on everything. And with this size of a gate, one whole weld is considered a good tack in my eyes because you do not want this thing falling off while you're trying to swing it. But I always like to make sure that the gate's going to swing right and look right and everything before I weld it all the way out. If I could do it over again, I'd weld the other side solid. But, sucker's holding. Shoot, boys, I reckon that'll work. gates they fit what a good feeling pretty exciting My advice for this week is a very important piece of advice. To me, in my opinion, it's almost the secret to life. No, kind of, no, not really. 
secret to success, maybe. We'll call it the catalyst to getting things done. So what my advice is, is it's all in the deal. And what I mean by that is whenever it comes to getting things done or trying to get something that you need for your business or whatever you're doing, I'll use tires as an example. I need tires for my truck real bad. And if I had a relationship with a tire company or a guy that owned a tire company, I could always offer to do some welding for such guy. And he might, that might be huge value to him because he don't have a weld machine and he needs all this stuff, these pins built or something, you know, at his house. And he might be willing to trade a set of six tires that I need for this truck, $2,000 worth or more, $2,500 worth. And you can either compare it like apples to apples, like, you know, hourly rate for the exact cost, or, or you can make a deal. And whatever that deal is, it may not come out right in the money, but it may be worth it for one guy to quote unquote lose in his eyes because whatever you're giving him in return is worth tons of value. Another example that I really wanna throw in here is when it comes to getting started with a welding business, I get a lot of questions on how do I get started? How do I find work? You know, how do I find, the, find these jobs? Well, whenever you're getting started, it's a lot harder. Nowadays, it's a little easier for me because I've built an, my name, you know, I've done work and people will refer me, so word of mouth gets around. But when getting started, it's hard because nobody knows about you. So what you have to do is sweeten the deal. For example, if your monthly rent is $600 and you run into a guy that needs something built and it may be worth $1,000, you know, with your hourly rate or whatever, but if you have all your equipment already and, you know, he needs it done, you can say, look, I'll do this for $600 because you need $600 to pay rent. So do that trade and that's worth it to you because you need to keep your house or you need to make your truck payment and he needs this done, but he don't know you so he don't wanna pay full price or whatever. He don't, you're trying to prove yourself. You're in that stage where you're trying to prove yourself. So that's my advice is it's all in the deal. The catalyst to getting things done or to, to, uh, to make things happen is trading. So that's my advice, it's one of my favorite pieces of advice and things that I've, one of the things I've learned over the past couple of years or that I've realized it's really, really stuck out to me through reading books and listening to podcasts over the past couple of years. So I wanted to share it with you. Thank you all for watching. Come back and see us next Friday. Don't forget to go to my website, arosswelding.com to check out the welding shirts, the circle burners or any other tools, digital prints, stickers, whatever you're interested in. Thanks to everyone who has already purchased something from the store and the returning customers. We really appreciate the support. Thank you all for watching and remember, learn something every day.